morning. Ooh, voice cracked a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to my channel. This is Kim. Would like to well, actually, I would like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who been with me from day one or been with me for a while? I need lipstick on. I'm getting ready to go to this Bath and Body Works. Um, their annual sale. This is the sale we've been waiting on since Candle Day. This semi-annual sale. Hopefully, I can find some stuff that's 75% off. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But I seen on the website that the candles is 10.50 this year. Normally they just be like 50% off, which is like 12, 12.50 12 is what they normally be, I believe. But this year they they 10.50, and I see a couple of candles I want to get. I think I'm gonna try to get some of that champagne rose um, body lotion. I really, really, really don't need any skincare. Or body care yeah I got a couple of items on that body care sale um, that's one reason why I really don't need none and another reason is because I have tons but I don't want to drag this video on cause so I'm gonna have to get going because like I said now I don't know if the store is gonna be packed this early but it is the day after Christmas so it's a chance that the store might be kind of crowded so I gotta get going. Say, tomorrow is the last day that you could use these coupons that they gave us on candle day the um spend ten dollars get a free item up to 1650 today is the day that you could use this coupon as well if you have this coupon um this is just a free body care item full-size body care item free and it has a 20 percent coupon attached to it So today, tomorrow, will be the last day that you can use these coupons because they expired on the 24th. And you can use these coupons three days after or three days before the, the dates that's on the coupons. So if you're not going out today, make sure you go out tomorrow to use these coupons or you're going to miss out. As you see, I got about five of them. So I'm going to try to find something for like $10. And I might try to get some of that Coco Shea because I heard. Yeah, the Coco Shea collection, from what I'm hearing, and I hear that they're going to be discontinued. I don't know. But I'm going to try to get some more of those products because I really like them. Uh, also, I just, I got a $50. I got a $50 um, gift card that I'm going to use. Hopefully, this is enough for everything that I wanna I wanna get. Hopefully, so yeah, let's get this let's get this shopping going. Okay, finally made it. I'm gonna go up here. Hopefully, I find some good stuff.
hurting from carrying that bag of candles. Oh my goodness. And then I went to a couple of other stores. Wow. Okay, let's see. Okay, y'all. Woo. Uh, I think I spent like $6 out of pocket. I used only three of those. Did I use three or did I use two? No, I only used two. Two of these coupons, I only used two. Um, I end up getting a candle. I didn't even want this to be real, real honest. I, I don't like vanilla. I really don't. But because I was using this coupon, it had to be over $40. I don't even know what I was thinking. But I end up getting this four candles and this. And I end up spending like $30, I think. But I had a gift card. Yeah, it came up to $33. So that was cool. And then on my other free items, I end up getting this, which came at regular price. I thought this stuff should be on, on sale. But I wanted to get this. Somebody was raving about this lotion. I'm not sure if it was this one. But they say this lotion is just body butter is really, really good. So I wanted to get this one. Um, I got that free because I got a candle and that. And then I got the champagne rose, just the lotion. I wanted that lime, that, um, what was it? Gardenia, lime gardenia, something like that. But they did not have the lotion at all. So I just got this. Um, on that transaction, like I said, I had a $50 gift card, um, so I paid $33, and then the candle and the lotion came up to like $11, so I used a little bit more on the gift card, and then my last transaction, I just had a little bit extra money, and I had to pay like $6 out of pocket, so that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad at all. Yeah, so I might go over to the other store. Um, while I was in there, a young lady gave me her coupon. Her 10 off of 40 coupon. You talking about somebody happy. I was extremely happy because I actually didn't go on a search for these coupons. I started to, but I told myself, you know what? I'm probably not gonna get a lot of stuff. So that's all I needed was one coupon, but of course, Typical Bath and Body Works um, lover, <laughs> you know, I, I I went in there and I seen so many candles that I wanted and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need some more coupons <laughs> because these candles, this, where is it at? This candle right here, this mango, oh my God. Oh. Mango is my all-time favorite fruit. I absolutely love, love, love mango. And this candle smells so juicy. This Mai Tai, mango Mai Tai, oh no, Tiki Mango, Mai Tai. This candle smells amazing. And it was on the 1050, I don't know. This must be new for the annual sale because I don't remember seeing these candles. Oh my God, this candle smells so good. It kind of smells like peach, like a really sweet, sweet peach is what this candle smells like. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And when I seen this candle, I'm like, I gotta have it. Um, another candle that I didn't see was this um, blueberry sugar. I've never seen this candle. Or maybe I just didn't look for it on candle day, but when I seen it, they only had one, so I decided to get it. And it smells just like blueberries. Smells exactly like blueberries. I don't smell no graham crackers. It most definitely smells exactly like sweet, sugary blueberries. Hopefully, and like I told y'all once before in the video, um, I don't normally go for food scent candles, 
food scented candles for some reason i just really don't like them um another candle that i had got was that that mary cookie donut I, mm -mm, not donut that mary cookie candle i actually really don't like it i don't i i burned that one yesterday for christmas i don't i don't really like it. it is just so overpowered the smell is just vanilla 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 and i'm not a huge fan of vanilla fragrance I'm, i really am not but everybody hyped that candle up so i said i would get one and i actually found one not too long ago and i was gonna get it because it was just the only one but i changed my mind so yeah that's another one that i decided to get um i got this berry waffle cone this one <laughs> like i said i don't really go for food scented candles but this one smells exactly like a waffle cone i don't smell berry in this i don't really smell no berry no sweet it's supposed to be sweet summer berries i don't smell it i do smell like that waffle cone that's the smell i'm smelling waffle cone yummy and then i got another tis the season just because i actually this was my first time i bought one for candle day and i liked it so i decided to buy another one oh uh, let's see what else i was gonna wait until i got home to do all this y'all um i got the water i got the watermelon lemonade candle i've had this before um like long long time ago and i really do like it but for some reason i never ever buy it i don't i don't know why but this candle smells amazing lovely this is a good candle these people pulled up next to me and then i got this ocean driftwood this this candle could be more like in the mahogany tiki wood you know that man's um fragrance that most people love and i actually love so i could tell that this candle probably have cedar wood or something oh no it has mahogany yeah so this is more or less in that mahogany tiki wood family or that fireside family yeah that man's cologne type of scent that's what this is and like i said that's all i really got and then my free items these are all my free items i got i feel like i feel like this should have been on sale i really don't i this was like regular price and you know of course i got it free but mm, i don't know about this one so yeah i'm gonna run over here to that other store and just to, you know just to see what they have so i will be back in a little bit and i got i still got four i still got four of these coupons but i gotta spend ten dollars um each to get the free item and they expire tomorrow Okay, let's head over to the other. made it to the other store, the standalone store, which is right there. This store stay packed. This is crazy. This is crazy. But I'm gonna go in here and just see what kind of candles they have. Um, yeah, because I basically already got the stuff that I want from the other store. And I believe this line is just super long. I went to the mall. They ain't as packed as this. Really? Is he on the they have some different items, but is it worth waiting in this long line? I don't think so. At all. But the other store didn't have this one. Or this one. Okay, y'all. 
Excuse me. I think I'm gonna pass on this store. They too, they too crowded. And it's just not worth it for me to wait in that long line. So I'm actually happy that I went to the store that I went to. Um, they had a couple candles that I kind of, I kind of wanted, but it's not worth that line. That line is probably a good, maybe 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes. It's not worth it. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I just gotta pay for that shipping. Even though I really, I really don't wanna pay for shipping. I could head to a different one, to the Galleria, to the other mall. But I got a feeling, I got a feeling that mall is gonna be super packed as well. Cause you gotta think right now it's almost, it's 10 o'clock. Everything is open. The mall been open for a while now. No, I'm just ready to go home. And I'm just gonna be happy with what I got. Yeah, let's head home.